on to the Rise and Die. This is from Madstone. Madstone also has Flavor and Fire and Clam Lube. Uh, this is an extract sauce. So what that means is that it contains 3 million Scoville capsaicin, uh, or a capsicum, sorry. And it is just a really highly concentrated sauce, like that heat is very concentrated. Ingredients in this, you have ghost pepper, vinegar, garlic, coffee, spices, uh, sugar, salt, capsicum, and xanthan gum. So, I'm nervous about this one. Um, <laughs> I got some crackers over here as well, and then uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll do a little bit of this on a spoon, but not super stoked to try the, I I am excited to try this one, but I'm definitely nervous as well. All right, so that's probably even too much, uh, but we'll give it the full review. Appearance, love the color. It is has little specks and flakes in there. It's a nice brown, um, makes you think about coffee as well. So I'm gonna give that a five out of five. The aroma, pick up a lot on the coffee. Wasn't expecting to have as much of that um, flavor there. But yeah, you don't pick up on the chemical chemical smell. I, I don't know. Uh, a lot of extract sauces smell very similar because of that extract. And this one does not. I, I enjoy the flavor, the smell, the aroma of this one. Um, flavor that you can feel with your nose. And going to give it a 5 out of 5. Like for an extract sauce, this is probably top of the aroma chart for us. Um, texture, I mean, it's a nice consistency. It's a little runny. And it can move around still. It's not completely like sludge, but really for extract sauces, you're generally going to just toss it into something like a bigger pot of chili and then use that as the spice. So texture, 4 out of 5. Uh, all right, so we'll go ahead and cheers, I guess. Oh. Okay, so you get a lot of that coffee flavor, which is good. Um, and then the capsicum creeps up and the extract just kind of takes over your entire mouth. Uh, <coughs> as <laughs> extract sauces tend to do. So, while well, I compose myself a little bit, they also have another one of these called Laid to Rest. It's a little different. I can't remember the exact difference at the moment uh, but yeah for heat and spice we're gonna do a five out of five on this one. Oh, <laughs> hold on cracker break it just kind of coats the entire inside of your mouth I'm like a second away from getting the hiccups that's one of the worst things that you can do when you're eating hot sauce. Some of the ones that we've made, as we're making them and we do a first taste test, it it blows you up and you get the hiccups. Okay, I think we're out of the woods there. Uh, for flavor, um, gonna give this one a four out of four. On flavor, it's that smokiness of the coffee that's in there. Starting to get some spicy hallucinations now. Uh, and the ghost pepper. I have ghost pepper as a flavor I really enjoy. And then the garlic helps out quite a bit too. So flavor is very good. Uh, probably one of the more flavorful extract sauces I've had. The end at Pepper Palace is probably the next closest. Uh, but this is like... Pepper Palace the end is here. And Rise and Die is up here. So... Definitely like this one on the flavor scale. Originality, um, not too many extract sauces with coffee in there. So original originality wise, five as well. And then the label, uh, nice little spooky guy up there, a skelly boy. And yeah, I, I don't know, I, I enjoy it quite a bit. It's a smaller bottle and as extract sauces tend to be, well, we're going to go 4 out of 5 on the label, so we'll tally that up. Alright, so Rise and Die from Mad Stone gets a 48 out of 50. As an extract sauce, this is probably the top of our list, just all around. 
uh, but that flavor, that coffee flavor, really helps out and definitely would not recommend uh, eating it straight. It's probably going to be really good for like a big, you could probably do some carnitas or something, something that would typically be good with coffee, uh, seasonings and flavor. So overall, big fan, like this one. Um, not sure how frequently I will end up using it, but overall, really good.